Okay. Good morning. Traditional siblings. Starbucks run. Traditional. Yes. Traditional. It is at least once a week. And our Starbucks finally got the nitro cold brew. It was so satisfying to watch them pour it. I got it with a little soy milk. Good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Great way to start your day. Oh, uh, gals on the go? No, no, no. More like fam on the go, baby. Fam on the go. Good morning, everybody. I am headed to spin. I just got back from Starbucks with my brother. This is my little spin outfit of the morning, I guess. The sports bra is from Outdoor Voices, and then I'm wearing biker shorts from Soho Cycling, and then I've just got my Balenciaga sneakers. I'm gonna throw over a sweatshirt, and then we're gonna go. Throw over the sweatshirt that I just got at Topshop. This is the vibe for Spin. My sunglasses are from Princess Polly. We're gonna go to Spin, and then I have a facial appointment at Sephora. Then I get my nails done. It's gonna be a self-care fun vlog. I'm excited for this vlog. Anyways, have to go. Let's go work out. Just made it to Soho Cycling. I've been switching off between going to Soho Cycling and camp, um, Tampa. They're both great spin studios today. I'm doing a 12 p.m. with Steven. He's awesome. I took him um, over winter break, I believe, and he's like really motivational, and I'm really excited to get some spin on. Guys, I can't even finish this. Like, this is so strong. Oh my God, I'm so caffeinated. All right, let's get some spin on. I'm so excited. I tell you, not spinning for four days will get you. I think I just sweat my whole body out. That's not a thing. I definitely just sweat out all the hot dogs and chips and all the Memorial Day barbecue food. So I guess that's good. It's 12.55, I have an appointment at Sephora at 1.30. I was inspired by a ton of other YouTubers I watch, Maggie, Maddie, uh, I saw my friend Reagan doing this yesterday. Basically, it's called a hydrofacial at Sephora. They're doing like a promotion right now where you do the hydrofacial and you just have to spend $75 in product there. And basically, they use this like vacuum thing that pulls out all the dead skin, the gunk, clears out your pores, and I just really wanted to do it. So, I'm really excited. I just washed my face at the Spoon Studio. Um, yeah, it should be good. Hopefully, they'll let me like get a couple video clips in there so I can like show you guys. They at the end they show you like everything that was in your skin, like in this little cup. And I just I, I love that stuff, so I'm really excited. But yeah, hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Danielle. Subscribe down below. I feel like I never really intro. This is just gonna be a vlog. I don't know if I already said that, but um, this last weekend was Memorial Day weekend and my boyfriend came to Tampa, which was so exciting. It was a last minute decision. I'm so excited. He got to, he met the fam, he got to see Tampa, and he and my brother are like basically best friends now. So it was a really good weekend, but I didn't like work out or anything while he was here. So yeah, it feels good to get back on the girl boss grind. Um, but yeah, anyways, enough chatter. Let's go get a hydrofacial. I'm hyped. My gosh, so there's different layers. Okay, hi, update. My skin feels so good. Like, I wanted to film her doing it, but I just didn't want to like invade her privacy. It was so satisfying. My skin just, ugh. I'm not allowed to be in the sun today or tomorrow, which is fine. I've been in the sun enough. Um, and I got a couple products because you have to spend $75 to do the facial, basically. The facial is like free, you just have to spend money there. Um, so I did that and then I also went to Lush So I'm gonna do a little haul for you guys when I get home because I got some stuff yesterday um, But now I'm headed for a little lunch break. I'm going to Fresh Kitchen It's just the healthiest best lunch ever in Tampa. So we gonna do that now All right, I just got to the nail salon and I'm going to get a manicure that's long overdue. These are like pre-finals nails. I have to say, this is SNS, so it's lasted a hot minute. These are my real nails and they've grown so long, so I'm so excited. I wanted to make sure to go into the salon before I start like biting or picking at them because now my nails are so long, it's gonna like look like I have acrylics or something. I'm really excited. I think I'm gonna do, oh, I have to think about colors. I'll probably do like a light pink or I wanna do neon, but I don't know. 
Oh my gosh, guys, I am literally obsessed. I've never been so happy with nails before. I think it's a mixture of the neon, me being tan, but mainly the fact that my nails are actually this long. So, wow, that was so satisfying. I went for it, I did the neon yellow green. If you guys are wondering, this is um, 121 from the Paris Dip Powder Collection. It's the brand, it's not SNS, it's the brand Paris, and it's color 121 if your nail salon has it. It has been a self care day for sure. Hashtag self care summer. Um, that's why I wanted to vlog today because I knew there was going to be a lot going on. I'm going to, I don't really know what I'm doing right now, actually. I'm waiting for a call from my mama. Um, depending on I really need a shower all right guys it's haul time I've got a couple things I want to show you guys so I'm gonna lay it out store by store um so yesterday I went into altered state because I have this super cute like aqua teal colored bikini that I got there last year and you guys are always asking where it's from and it's randomly from altered state um it kind of reminds me of like a Francesca's vibe but so I decided to go in there yesterday and they still have really cute bathing suits and they actually still sell the one that I'm talking about from last year so I got this set and they don't sell them in sets unfortunately but um this is the first set. I just loved the colors in this. I think this is super fun for summer. I've been by the pool and at the beach a lot, so I figured it would be good. Um, and I love the back how it has this little line. Um, I know that sounds really weird, but like I feel like those are really flattering. And I just loved the colors. And this one was just like a mix and match. I just loved this top. I'm going to Greece, as I've said many times. And I thought these would be super cute. So it's just got the tie back with the ruffly sleeves. I just thought these were so cute. And then I loved these bottoms again. Um, the very flattering bottoms and then I can't believe I don't already have a hat like this I got a TPA hat um, They have they sell a ton of hats like these with like different airport symbols So they have LAX ATL. I actually have an Athens one ATH But I was like, why don't I have a TPA one? Yeah, I thought this was perfect I wear hats almost all the time when I'm in the Sun because I really don't like to tan my face So yeah, that's what I got at altered state next up from top shop at Nordstrom I got this pink sweatshirt. I'm wearing right now and I also got this fun like more oversized white tank um, it's just I thought it would just be good as like a beach cover-up with jean shorts just like an easy summer vibe I say vibe a lot huh from lush I just got two of my favorite essentials that I haven't repurchased in a while the first is this dirty spray if you guys have been watching my channel for like years you I've I've bought so many of these in my lifetime. It's basically called it's called dirty body spray And it says a sophisticated invigorating body spray that smells of spearmint and tarragon I really don't know how to explain it. It basically just has a ton of essential oils I am going to keep this in my car. I think or I might keep it in my I don't really know I probably should have gotten two this stuff is a shower in a spray bottle. I am not kidding you guys. I also just use it in the morning as like a daily body mist. I haven't in years, but in high school, I'd wear this every day and everyone would be like, wow, like you smell so good. And it's like your smell. Like it's very unique. It's very strong, but it literally just smells like you took a shower and you just smell clean. I don't know how to explain it, but I sprayed this on immediately after I bought it because I had come from spin and I could totally smell myself. So this is just great if you're like a gal. It's basically dry shampoo for your body. And I also repurchased this. I haven't gotten this in so long and now the packaging's different and so much cuter. It's the Lust Perfume. I like it because it's small so I can take it with me to Greece and just some other travels. It's kind of more of like a nighttime. Last but certainly not least is Sephora. I got the facial obviously today and you had to spend at least $75 from the store um, in order to get the facial. So she actually used this on me. So this is the Sunday Riley Tidal Brightening Enzyme Water Cream. I loved it. I loved how it felt. I liked it because it's water-based. It's basically just a moisturizer. She said I should use it in the morning and at night before I put on my makeup. I love Sunday Riley. I use the CEO Glow Serum. It's amazing. So love that. And then I also tried this because she recommended it to me. If any of you guys have used this, please let me know down below. I was looking for a very... Um, not too intense dark spot solution because I do have just some leftover acne scarring and dark spots um, from when I had acne. So she recommended the Kiehl's Clearly Corrective Dark Spot Solution. She said to just use this at night. So I'm going to give it a shot. All right, so I'm at my desk now. I just showered. I feel clean. And I'm drinking some matcha green tea. I was listening to some music earlier. I'm about to get on a conference call with Margot and Julia, my boss for my internship. My internship's going all summer, so we have our weekly kind of conference call, brainstorm, check-in, everything like that. So let's do it. 
just got off my call. I'm hitting that midday slump. So I'm just watching some Riverdale, just kind of vegging out. The conference call went really, really well. I love interning for Wave. It is absolutely so much fun. It just, I don't know, it's very interesting and I love getting to work with other girl bosses. We just finished planning an event that's happening next week in New York City and I just wanna share with you guys, I think you would really benefit from it if you're an incoming college freshman. The event is next Saturday, June 8th from 12.30 to 3.30 at this dope venue in New York City. It's so cool. I think it's called like Lightbox. I'll have all the information down below and a link for you guys to purchase tickets. Basically, this event that they're holding next week is called Meet Wave, and it's for anyone who's an incoming college freshman. There's so many people that have already signed up and bought tickets that are going to all different sorts of schools. I know as well as a lot of you guys do that going into your first year of college, you're scared because you want to meet friends, and it's just weird going into a school without knowing anyone but maybe your roommate. So I think an event like this is really cool. There's going to be live performances. There's going to be a DJ. There's going to be a ton of awesome brands sponsoring the event, such as Matcha Bar, um... I forget the name of it, but she does like cool cut up college t-shirts. They're gonna have booths at this sick venue. And I just thought it'd be a super cool way for you guys to meet other people that are going to schools maybe near you or your own school in the fall so that you guys can get each other's numbers, start group chats, cause I know that's like so important. Julia, the CEO and founder of Wave will be there. You guys should totally say hi to her. She's awesome. Again, I'll have a link down below if you guys wanna check it out, but I just think it's perfect. You get someone's number and then you see them out at a party in college in the fall and you're like, wait, I met you at the WAVE event because if you think about it, the people that are going to this event are going to have similar interests to you and you're going to probably meet cool people that you vibe with. So if you're in New York City next Saturday, June 8th, I say you go ahead and go. I think it's a great way to meet new people, like I said, so yeah. But yeah, that's my little spiel. I just care about you guys and I know freshman year is kind of crazy and I think an event like this is so awesome to get to know people and just kind of gain confidence. So yeah, I'm just going to watch a little bit more Riverdale and then I think from a video and then I think my dad and I are going to get dinner tonight. So my head hurts and I took Advil and it's not working. Work. So I didn't end up filming. I realized I have all day tomorrow and I honestly don't want to put on makeup since I got that facial today and my skin's looking pretty good. Oh, my dad just got here. One sec. So my dad and I are about to head to dinner. He just got here. I think we're going to take the golf cart and go somewhere local and just get some dinner. It's sunset, so it should be really pretty out. Um, I'm just wearing this top that I got from Super Down. You guys should check out my newest haul that this is in it. Um, and it's just like a cute crop top. And then I'm wearing this skirt that... I want to say it's from H&M or some store like that. My new bag, still loving it. And then my Vince slip-on, so... Dad, you ready for our adventure? Yeah. Hi, girls. <laughs> Woo! I've been loving driving the golf cart lately just to get music. dinner. Does Freddie have this in here? Oh. Let's see if it goes on with the batteries. Let's see. Device is ready. Oh, okay. Some tunes. Dad wants some tunes. I'll give you some tunes. What kind of vibe do you want? Just anything. Anything. Oh my gosh. We'll do a little country. So that's the vibe lately. I just got back and to more packages. Um, guys, this is so sweet. This is a photo I took and I believe it was Portugal with EF Ultimate Break last summer. And they had an artist like do a little sketch of the, like that's an Instagram photo I took. And they sent me this little letter, just so sweet. And I'm excited to go to Greece with them next week. And then my friend Chelsea Trevor, you guys might watch her on YouTube. She's awesome. Just designed her own pair of leggings and she sent them to me. So thanks, Chels. All right, fam, it is time for me to hit the hay. I'm so tired. I had an amazing dinner with my dad. It was really fun. And now I'm just going to get all snuggled up in bed and edit this vlog so it goes up tomorrow for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I think I'm vlogging tomorrow again as well. So, aka another video tomorrow. So as you're watching this, tomorrow there's another video. But yeah, I love you guys so much. Thanks so much for being patient with me. I know I kind of took a little bit of a hiatus. By hiatus, I think I didn't post for like four days. <laughs> um, but I really appreciate you guys being awesome and supportive. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!